Today, I'm going to show you how to edit XML files for The Witcher 3 and pack them as mods using ModKit by CDPR and Mod Kitchen by Ververax. Both of these can be found on the Nexus. If you haven't already, head over to the Nexus and download Mod Kitchen's main file. Extract Mod Kitchen with your favorite extraction program and run the EXE. The first thing you need to do is set the directory of your Witcher 3 mod kit and then set your uncooked file location. Your uncooked files location can be anywhere you want, but for simplicity, I have mine at the root directory of my second hard drive inside a folder named ModKit Resources. Inside ModKit Resources, you'll have to make three folders. They are modded, packed, and uncooked. Going back to Mod Kitchen for now, once you set both directories accordingly, you're now set to uncook your game files. Uncooking game files is a lengthy process, so for convenience sake, I've already uncooked my files beforehand, as that as you can see, I've already found the base game's content directory. I say base game because you're going to have to find the content directory for each DLC shortly after you uncook the base game. Now if you want to find the DLC content directory, it's fairly simple. You go to the DLC folder and you choose one of these folders here. EP1 is Hearts of Stone, BOV is Blood and Wine, and all of these are the free DLCs. Once you've found the DLC you want to uncook, you choose the content folder inside of it and click OK. Click the uncook button and then repeat for every other DLC you have and you'd like to edit. After that's done, head to the uncooked folder. For this video, what we're going to do is we're going to edit the Viper armor and swords. So in order to do that, we need to go to the DLC folder, EP1, Data, Gameplay, and we need to open up the Items and the Items Plus folders. We need to edit the XMLs in both of these folders because if we do not, you will not see item changes in New Game Plus if you don't edit the Items Plus folder, and likewise if you don't edit anything in the regular Items folder for the regular game. But we're not going to actually edit anything in the uncooked folder. What we're going to do is we're going to copy the file structure, DLC, EP1, Data, Gameplay, and then Items and Items Plus, and we're going to paste it into Modded. I've already done this, so we're going to go through it again, DLC, EP1, Data, and Gameplay, and then Items and Items Plus. I've already picked through and sorted which XMLs that I want to edit. And since we're only going to be editing the Viper armor and swords, we only need these five XMLs. We're going to have to edit those. We're going to have to edit the ones in Items Plus as well. I've already edited these four myself before the video. But for this video, we're going to edit Def Item Crafting Armor. And we're going to open this up with Notepad or Notepad Plus, whatever you like to, whatever your favorite. Uh, editor is. So we're going to open it up. We're going to find a value that we want to change. As you can see, EP1 Witcher Armor, which is actually the Viper Armor, I've already done a couple edits too. I've increased the armor stat for it from 235 to 240, as well as the slashing, piercing, and rending. The elemental resistance, it may have been changed, I'm not too sure. But for that, we're going to boost up the poison resi resistance to 0.6. After we made the changes we want, we're going to save and close out our editor. Once that's done, we're going to go back into Mod Kitchen. We're going to click the Build a Mod tab. And you're going to name your mod whatever you like. I'm going to name mine Mod Viper Resistance. And now we need to choose our mod working directory. As you can see, I've already chosen mine. And what it does is it's going to choose your base directory where all your files are stored. And I chose mod kit resources. You don't need to choose uncooked. You don't need to choose modded. You don't need to choose packed. This program will find the correct folder for you. Once that's ready, you choose 
to check mark this only pack XML files because we're only making XML edits everything else is unnecessary and unneeded so we're gonna click that and then to make sure that we didn't miss anything at all we're gonna click show files to import and as we can see it's got all of our edited XMLs here the correct file structure and everything when we're 100% certain everything is done and ready to go, we click the build button. It's going to pop up WCC Lite in a command prompt and it's going to build the mod for us. After that's complete, and it will take a little bit of time, or a lot of time, depending on how big your mod is. But after it's done, we're going to go back to Mod Kit Resources and go into Packed. We're going to find our mod we just created, which is Mod Better Viper Resistance. We're going to copy it. We're going to go ahead and copy it and paste it inside of our mods folder inside of the Witcher 3. After that, your mod is complete. I hope this helped everybody out, and you all have a nice day.